The road trip continues as the Oakland Raiders try to build upon their four game winning streak today against the San Diego Chargers. What's going on guys? My name of course is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to the Oakland Raiders Connected Careers. Today's test is the 7-3 San Diego Chargers as our Raiders stand at 7-3 themselves. This battle is for the top of the AFC West Division. Into the first quarter action, the Chargers are on offense. It's third down and two. Hand off to the weak side, it's Ryan Matthews. And he's got a hole to run through a big gaping hole across the 50-yard line and tackle inside the Oakland 45. It's been a brutal last two weeks watching his team try to stop the legs of Jamal Charles and Reggie Bush. They have surrendered back-to-back 200-yard -back games, and today they have to focus on the running game and stopping Ryan Matthews. Kevin Smith into the ball game, hand off the middle, and once again, solid chunks. The Raiders' defense has slipped in the recent weeks, but still they're on a four-game winning streak, and it's third down and eight. Antonio Gates makes the catch. He'll evade the defenders and break a tackle and go into the end zone. San Diego, seven. Oakland Raiders zero here in the first quarter as we'll see Patrick Papa Giannopoulos lead the offense out for the first time today. The second and nine throw over the middle is in traffic and Denarius Moore can't handle it. So third down and nine from their own 11 yard line. Four man rush from San Diego. Papa to the outside a lob. It's caught Danny Amendola. And a 22 yard grab will get the Raiders to the 33 yard line. Amendola has been fun to watch the last couple weeks. Stepping up big for Jacoby Ford. One of the big injuries for the Raiders as the third down pass by Papa is knocked down. That will force a Raiders punt at San Diego football. Rivers off the play action. The deep pass is dropped by Antonio Gates. Wow, he's usually so sure-handed. And it'll force third down and five. Rivers play action to Ryan Matthews. Clean pocket over the middle. It's caught this time by Gates. He redeems himself. A first down to the 45-yard line. And I would be a bit worried about who you have covering Antonio Gates. It's a big matchup nightmare for this Raiders defense, especially with Branch Hurt. And now Ryan Matthews at the right side. And once again, he picks up a big chunk of yards and a first down for the Chargers. At the 40 now, Matthews again. First down to the 26-yard line. A gain of 14, already 71 yards for Ryan Matthews. I don't know what this team has done in recent weeks. And now Kevin Smith with blockers leading the way. Eddie Royals out there blocking in the secondary. And now Anthony Knoll is hurt on the ground as Kevin Smith gets into the three yard line and that is now first down and goal. Rivers dumps it off and it will be a touchdown. The Chargers score again as Rolando McLean's cousin, Laron McLean, takes us in from three yards out. 14 nothing bolts here in the first quarter as the Raiders begin this drive with their own 10 yard line and Ivory trying to find room doing a good job of staying on his feet. He'll pick up a solid six. Now I formation. Marcel Reese leading the way. Ivory going outside and he gets about two or three yards. I wonder if Marcel Reese gets some more carries in this game. He was impressive last week. Now single back. Ivory again. And they're trusting him. He does get the first down, but five rushes, 16 yards. He does not get the production they're wanting right now, especially with McFadden hurt. First and 10. The pass is caught by A.J. Ray. 14 yards and... Man, I hope that we can call him A.J. Roy by the end of the year. Rookie of the year. I think it's going to happen. Amendola now a bubble screen. A new wrinkle in this Raiders offense. As he gets about four yards. Can't make the first man miss. So now third down and four. Pop out a throw. Dumps it off. Caught Denarius Moore. And A.J. Ray misses a block that could have sprung him for some more yards. And Moore gets him a first down to the 41-yard line. Good pickup. And now first and ten. Pop out a throw. Lob to the outside. Overthrown intended for Brandon Myers. Open on the right sideline. That would have been their first down catch. Instead, we'll see what they can do on third down and three. Papa will throw, and he's behind Brandon Myers. An inaccurate early pass. That was really rushed by Papa Giannopoulos. So the Raiders kick a field goal. It's 14 to three, and they're getting after Phillip Rivers and Lamar Houston. He made the big play last week to force a fumble that pretty much sealed the deal, and he sacks Phillip Rivers. And now on third and ten, once again, Antonio Gates. He is not easy to match up on. Orlando McLean has to step up. He's already given a few big catches. Second and ten. Rivers over the middle. And there's the big play we wanted. Interception Rolando McLean in Chargers territory. He's down to the 45. Gates puts a pretty good double move on Rolando McLean, but the pass was a little behind Gates, and Rolando makes the play, and the Raiders have it now. Hand off. Chris Ivory off tackle, and Sean Phillips wraps him up for a gain of three yards. Now from the 42, it's a 59-yard field goal from this range, by the way. Papa's throw is caught in traffic by A.J. Ray. A perfect dart to Ray, and he makes the catch for a first down. Now on second, Papa to throw again over the middle. A.J. Ray, and the ball's loose. He's smacked, and the ball's picked up by Kendall Reyes. 
The Chargers take the ball from Oakland on A.J. Ray's fumble, and he was blasted on that play, but the rookie just made a big mistake, and now when one rookie makes a mistake, one rookie makes a play. Anthony Noll off the nickel blitz, and he'll sack Rivers for a short loss. It's now third and eight. Dump it off. Ryan Matthews wrapped up shy of the 30-yard line. They'll punt. Raiders ball again. First and ten, Papa Giannopoulos to throw. Dumps it off, caught by Marcel Reese. Last game's MVP of the game, and he gets about six or seven yards on this catch. And we'll see second down and two now. Hand off to Ivory again, going up that left side, working on the back block of Jared Valdir. The Raiders now at midfield as Papa drops back to throw. Under pressure, the ball's knocked loose, and Kendall Reyes falls on it again. The waiting arms of Kendall Reyes have stolen the ball twice. And the Chargers will add a field goal to their lead, making it 17-3. Papa needs better protection than he's getting right now out of the shotgun. He'll throw again on second and ten. And you can't be serious. Papa puts it on the ground again. It's picked up by Jarrett Johnson. And the Raiders just turn it over again for the third time on fumbles. And the Chargers turn it into a scoop and score for a touchdown. Absolutely sickening. That was back-to-back -back plays for the Raiders offense. Three straight drives resulting in lost fumbles. And I would say the Raiders digging themselves a hole in the first half would be an understatement. They've dug themselves a crater. And on second and four, Amendola makes the catch. And here is his speed after the catch. He's so dangerous. He gets to the 20-yard line. And now the Raiders are a threat to score and make it a 14-point game before halftime. 30 seconds to go. Myers makes the catch over the middle. It's now a goal-to-go -go situation. 14 seconds, clock running, I form, Papa drops back, a free rusher takes him down, he's sacked, and the Raiders will attempt a field goal now to make it 24-6 to at the break, and they do kick the field goal, they're now down by 18 points, still very disappointing to see the Raiders come out this way in the first half, they cannot duplicate this in the second half. Third quarter, here we are. Patrick Papa Giannopoulos swings it out to Rod Streeter in the flats, who will get about six yards on this catch. That sets up second down and four. Draw play out of the gun to Chris Ivory. A solid gain on second down, a gain of nine yards now. A little bit more production out of the running back than last week. And now Ivory off the counter. He gets the first down and crosses midfield. This is what the Raiders need. Slowly but surely, no need to be in a hurry right now. We're in the opening stage of the third quarter. On third and six, pass outside is hauled in by Moore, but he'll be half a yard shy of the first down. They'll send the offense back out. Patrick under center, it's an I formation, and it's a handoff to Marcel Reese. He played some running back last week, and the Raiders appeared to have liked what they've seen. And now he gets a third, a fourth down opportunity and converts. Now third and seven. And A.J. Ray, the rookie wide receiver, is left all alone, and he makes the first down grab. Now the Raiders inside the red zone, looking for that first touchdown of the game. Papa, end zone, Streeter can't haul it in. Double coverage, good ball placement though by Patrick, and that was a pretty good shot of the score. Now third down and two, the last Papa to throw under pressure. It's caught by Myers, and he slowed down a little bit. He ran into, I believe, Rod Streeter, and he ended up falling down. Second down and goal, Papa's got a throw. Only a three-man rush. He breaks out of a sack. He'll dump it off to Taiwan Jones. Touchdown! It was not typical at all, but the Raiders get their first score of the day, or a first touchdown, rather. Papa breaks out of a sack. The linebacker pursues Papa, wants to take him down. He leaves Taiwan all alone, and Papa finds him for a short touchdown pass. 24-13, Raiders back in this game, but Ryan Matthews, he's coming alive again. He has now broken 100 yards as the Chargers are in Raiders territory. Second down, dump it off. Antonio Gates wide open. The chains will move once again. Now let's see third down and two. Randy McMichael in motion. It's a handoff. Ryan Matthews met in the backfield. He'll push forward, but he stopped short of the first down by Pat Lee. And the Chargers kick a field goal. Into the Chargers' next possession. Now we're in the fourth quarter, by the way. On third and seven, Rivers is sacked by Tommy Kelly. The Raiders are down by 14. Plenty of time to go, they just have to get some scores. Here's a chance with Taiwan. He's in the open space across the 40. Taiwan across midfield and he's out of bounds and hit hard at the 44-yard line of San Diego. Great field position as Papa drops back to throw on first and 10. He'll take his chance long. It's intercepted by Eric Weddle. Double coverage on A.J. Ray. Never stood a chance even getting to the football. And Papa has made a very poor play in that situation. Now the defense is asked to get the football back again as Ryan Matthews gets a 7-yard gain for a San Diego first down. 
We'll see now. Third down and 11 out of the shotgun. Phillip Rivers drops back to pass. Over the middle. Open. It's Eddie Royal making the catch. He'll split the safeties. And Eddie Royal has just taken a pass. 71 yards for a score. 34 to 13. That one hurts. Oakland down by three scores now. And they have to get some big plays now or they're not going to even have a chance of coming back in this game. Just over six and a half to play as Amendola makes a nice catch over the middle. Setting up a first down and ten. Outside pass caught by A.J. Ray. He puts it on the ground for the second time, but Brandon Myers is thankfully there to recover the football. That was almost Oakland's fifth turnover of the game. On second down, Denarius Moore makes the catch. He stood up and put down after an eight-yard gain to the 33-yard line. We'll see now Papa out of the shotgun to throw again. He'll throw it outside. Jumping catch made by Amendola inside the five-yard line. Tackle of a two. Here we go, Oakland. Get a score here. Fake the handoff to Chris Ivory. Picks up a block. End zone. Denarius Moore has it ripped out of his hands. Great defensive play. We'll try third down and goal now. Papa to throw again. Need one yard. And Streeter just flat out drops the pass. Now is the last chance for Oakland on this drive to make it a two-score game. Play clock winds down. Twin tight ends. The snap is off. Papa drops back to throw. Rolls out to his right. Nobody really open. He'll throw to the end zone, and Kreiner can't make the catch. He was hit hard, and the Chargers will turn over the ball and get it back in the hands of their offense. And here's the attempt at hitting Jerron Kreiner. It hit him in the hands, but unfortunately got hit by a defender. And so a very disappointing goal line stand. This one is all but over now. 34. 4 to 13, the Raiders will get it back, and we'll see if they can get any sort of life. Patrick Papa Giannopoulos fires over the middle, and this is an inaccurate throw, and this team has had its life drained from them right now. That's what we're seeing right now. Third and 10, welcome back Sean Phillips to the backfield. He sacks Patrick back at the 50 yard line, and we'll see now. Fourth down and 17, Papa's gonna throw it as far as he can. It's intended for Streeter, and it's knocked away the last second. Nice plays on the football by San Diego secondary. And they're going to take this one home. 31-13. to The winning streak is over for Oakland. A very disappointing performance. Four turnovers in this game and one turnover on downs. And the Chargers just simply did not make as many mistakes as Oakland did. Those two fumbles by Patrick in the first half were huge. They were back-to-back -back plays. And that gave San Diego a 24-3 lead. And they carry it to a 34-13 victory. Oakland falls into a tie for second place down the AFC West. And we'll see if they can rebound in week 13. A disappointing game it was that's even made worse by the fact that Michael Huff was injured in this game. And the Raiders once again are dealt a blow to their starting lineup. I wouldn't be surprised to see them make a move in free agency with Tyvon Branch and Michael Huff both hurt now. As well as Mike Mitchell, the third safety that rotates in. And if they don't do something about it, they play Peyton Manning in the Denver Broncos next week. And you know Peyton's going to be licking his chops if he's going against Will Hill and Anthony Nola at safety. So we'll see what the Raiders do. Here are the stats in the season so you can see how the players have done so far. Big standouts are obviously A.J. Ray and uh, Lamar Houston's having a great season again. But fourth game coming up on this five-game road trip. Can the Raiders bounce back against Denver? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.